Ghana is known to have produced a plethora of football legends. Today, the trend continues with Ghanaian footballers dominating the sport even in the diaspora. Despite this multiplicity of football talents, Ghana's glorious past at continental and international level still has to be revived. A paradox indeed. African footballer of 1978, golden boy Abdul Razak, shed some light on this issue. If you look at from the early days, Ghana has names and names of players, Ibrahim Sonde, Abu Kari, Robert Mensah, call them Abdul Razak, and so on. But Ghana has all these talents, but they don't have many titles in their bags. What is the problem? Yeah, you see, there wasn't too much problem before. When I say there wasn't too much problem before, that they give everybody a chance. If you are a good footballer, if you can play, you continue playing. Not, not like today. You come to the next time, you are not coming, they call another person. And it, it has come like uh, everybody needs money. Need money now. Send players who are not even up to the up to the task. They haven't reached the stage yet, but they are in the national team. They think you just because you start playing, you are a good player, you play for no. no. You can finish your career, you don't get a chance to be in the national team. Because somebody is there, it's difficult for you. For instance, if I am playing Razak in this position, I'm always there to play. I will be there in each and every match. And so if somebody is behind me, he's also a good player. Because I'm there, you won't get a chance. You won't get a chance, except maybe if I'm injured or suspended, which was not possible all the time. But it's not like that today. So those players you mentioned, there are more of them. Malik Jabil and so many of them were very good players. They played to the highest level. Johnny Sean, he was the captain of the Blasters before. He was good. He was always is there. We have the good players. But like today, the, 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 the gate is open. Going to Europe, anybody who have a team, when one match, when he play very well in that match, you need to be sell, sold to the team. How much even you get? Nothing. It can't help the nation. It can't help even your, the club. You just need the money to put in the pockets. So it doesn't help. It doesn't favor here in Ghana. Each and everyone wants his player to play for, for the nation to, so that he can get contract for him. He's not thinking about the nation, what the nation can get. That's why we are not progressing in the, in the Ghana uh, national team up to now. Before, the junior team, like the, the, the Starlet, the under-17, was not bad. We won. We won twice. But from there, people are trying to put their own players in the team. Abdul, like I was calling the names of players, you go to every country, you will see at least a Ghanaian or Ghanaians playing in that country. You go around in the diaspora, Ghanaians are everywhere. What is responsible for all these talents and skill for Ghanaian footballers? Yeah. Yeah, well, for the players, for the players, I will not say they are greedy. They are greedy that they, 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 they want money or they want this or they want that. Is the, is the, is the authority we have of today, they are the greedy people. Because when you form a team, he thinks that when you sell the player, he need money. But when he got the money, what is he going to do? How, how many of them have their own stadium? How many of them have their own park? As soon as the money comes, even the money, how much it is. Because if the player stays in the country, play for the club, he mature very well. Even as he play for the nation, even when he's still in Ghana. So when he goes outside, when you call him back, he's already uh, has played, has tested some international when he was in Ghana. That will help him rather. Rather than he's from the lower division, they got him a chance, he's gone to Europe. He's there. He never played here in Ghana. He never played. He never played with the national team. Even the Junior team he never played. So straight away, one day they make him come back to come and play here. He cannot play. He cannot give 100% the way we were playing before. He can't. Because he's looking for his future. He's looking for his legs. If he got, if he got break or if he got injured, he just say, ah, going back to my team. So why did you come? Stay there. Don't come. But they come. They, they, they call themselves like agents. Agent, agent uh, what do you call it now? They, they, our club management and uh, some of the FA, because all the FA, they have their own teams. They have their teams, so they want all their players to feature in the national team. And you got money. Yes, Abdul. But why is Ghana blessed with so many talents? 
thousands, hundreds of talents. Ghana has them. What do you think? Why? Why is it? Is God looking only at Ghana? <laughs> yeah, we we got it. it. It's God. It's God gave us. But we don't today. We don't know how to manage ourselves. God gave it to us. Like He gave us. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Not only in Ghana we have cocoa, cacao. We have timber. We have gold. I know not only in Ghana, in South Africa, we have gold and so forth. We got everything, the minerals, we got them. But until today, we, we didn't say, we thank God. We still struggling. We got the players. In the early age, you see a foot, small boy is playing football. Play, play, play. No coach, nobody with him, but he can play the game till he comes to the highest level. But when he comes to the highest level, that's where the problem starts. So each one of us just want to take his own player to the national to travel with him. Any team all over the world, we have a player there. Well, how do they manage to go there? We don't, we don't even know. <laughs> they are there just to play, just money. We don't get it. So, yeah. This the money is not income. Only the few, those few. I'm talking. The Stephen Apia, you know, uh, Muntari, uh, what they call uh, some agent. They all play in Ghana here before they left. You see, they all play, play for us folk, play for Liberty Professional. All of them, they were playing, you know, they enjoyed the league before they left to uh, ACN. They all play here. So when they went to wherever they went to play in Italy, in England, you see how they all excel. Whenever they come to play for the national team, they give their best again. But there are lots of them to do. They, we don't even know them here. We just call the names. They come down here. You don't know how to play African football. Mm -hmm.